Hey everybody, Chris here from the Protocase team back with another prototype video. And today we're gonna go over all of the self clinching nuts that we stock here at Protocase. Getting custom enclosures or parts custom manufactured means that you have all kinds of choices available to you. When you choose to work with a one-stop shop like ours, you have so many options for materials, finishes, graphics, markings, and you guessed it, fasteners. So we've covered self-clinching fasteners in many other Prototech Tip videos, so there's links to those below in the description. But for today specifically, we're going to cover the different types of self-clinching nuts that we stock here at Protocase. So let's get started. First up, we've got the standard self-clinching nut. This is a fastener with a threaded hole that's mechanically pressed into metal. Then you'd use the nut's threaded hole to insert a screw, stud, or bolt. Now nuts are typically used for creating strong internal threads to attach a component or to assemble parts together. This standard self-clinching nut protrudes on one side of the sheet metal. Next is a miniature nut. Just as the name suggests, this is simply a smaller style nut. Miniature nuts are often used to place fasteners closer to the edge of a part. Also, it protrudes on one side of the sheet metal too. Then there's the floating nut. This is a cool fastener because it allows a looser tolerance on hole placement. If the thread isn't perfectly aligned to the fastener, the thread on the floating nut will scooch over to receive the fastener. This one does protrude on one side of the sheet metal too. Next up, we have the blind nut. This type of nut encapsulates your threads. Designers and engineers use this type of nut to prevent any foreign material from entering inside. Now, on a previous prototype video, we told you to think of a blind nut as a fancy version of a standard nut, kind of like it's wearing a top hat, and I think that comparison still fits. Blind nuts also protrude from one side of the sheet metal as well. Up next, we have a flush nut. We install this type of nut flush with your sheet metal so it does not protrude from either side of the sheet metal. Flush nuts are a great replacement for a threaded hole because the pen material is typically harder than the sheet metal material, meaning the threads will have improved consistency, reliability, and holding power. Think of threaded holes on a stainless steel flush nut versus a tapped hole in an aluminum part. And finally, we have nylon insert nuts. Now, as the name would suggest, this type of nut has a nylon locking thread inserted into it. This is a great option if you need tighter locking because the nylon insert increases friction with the screw that's being installed. Now there are a couple types of nuts that I should mention that we do not stock, however we are happy to source these for you as a non-stock request if your design requires them. One of the nuts that we do offer as a non-stock item are lock nuts. Lock nuts are nuts that will resist loosening under vibration and torque. Some lock nuts use friction to prevent loosening. These are called prevailing torque lock nuts. The other type of lock nut is called free running, which means that it requires tightening against the bearing surface in order for the locking mechanism to function. Now we typically see lock nuts used for applications that may be extra susceptible to vibrations as these nuts have a strong resistance to loosening and require a greater torque to tighten or loosen them. As I said before, we don't stock locking nuts, but we can definitely source them from our suppliers. Just note that there will be additional lead times for these fasteners to come in. And with that, that's a rundown of the different styles of self-clinching nuts that we stock here. Remember, at Protocase, you have a ton of self-clinching fasteners at your disposal to create a design that perfectly suits your requirements. We want you to eliminate latencies in your product development with our ultra-fast custom manufacturing in two to three days and get your parts or enclosures in your hands as fast as possible. So with that being said, thank you for watching this week's Prototech Tip video and we'll see you again on the next one.